Yes, there's a photo. A Michigan mother may be looking to quit fast food as a New Year's resolution after discovering her fish sandwich came with, uh, extra protein. After getting McDonald's takeout on Wednesday night, the woman took a bite out of her filet -o fish before picking it apart as part of her usual routine. While inspecting the deep-fried patty, she found a worm weaved between the fish and its breading. Ew. The woman went back to the store to complain, but they could only offer her a refund and a corporate number to call. She declined the refund, as well as an attempt to take the tainted sandwich away, supposedly for testing. Instead, the woman stored the wormy patty in her freezer for safekeeping. McDonald's corporate seems to have made contact, though whether or not the issue has been resolved remains unclear. Want more icky food stories? Here's five more videos of creepy crawlers and food. Worms found in KFC chicken wings. If you're eating right now, do yourself a favor and put down your food before you watch this. Authorities in India shut down a KFC after they verified a complaint that worms were found in their chicken in October 2012. Now a woman in China, identified only by her surname Lu, found the same creepy crawlers wiggling in her leftover chicken wings that she bought from a Guangzhou KFC. Miss Lu told Hong Kong's Apple Daily that she and her children ordered takeout from KFC Saturday afternoon. After a few hours, she went to finish the food and found tiny white worms squirming around on her New Orleans-style chicken wings. Lou immediately contacted the media. One reporter came by, cut open one of the chicken wings, and found six or seven live worms in the meat. They waited till the manager turned up at the greasy chicken shop to file a complaint, but Miss Lou was only compensated with a refund and another free combo meal. Seriously? Lou found the response unacceptable. She didn't even receive an apology from the manager. A spokesman for the KFC restaurant told the reporter that the chicken wings were grilled on high heat and there were no problems with the food processing or the management. Romantic meal ruin after husband bites into cockroach. A British man's dinner plans turned into his worst nightmare when he took a crunchy bite of his cream spinach and found a giant roach inside. Danny Grace wanted to surprise the missus and cook a romantic dinner for two. He wanted the perfect side trimmings for his prime steak, so he grabbed some Mark and Spencer's cream spinach. After setting the table and getting the mood right, his wife Corrine was impressed with her husband's sweet gesture. Until he took a chewy bite of a cockroach dwelling inside his cream spinach, causing the poor man to puke everything he made right in front of her. The Graces, disgusted, complained to the company, but were told it must have been a moth. They tried to hush up the couple by compensating them with a cheap bottle of sparkling wine and 25 pounds or around 38 bucks. Danny, now scarred for life, checks everything he eats, and his wife says he's paranoid and will never get prepackaged veggies again. A spokesperson for Marks & Spencer says they're investigating their pesky problem. Instant roaches, vermin found in instant noodles in Japan. Payangu Yakusobi has discontinued noodle production after cockroach bits were found inside its packaging. It has finally been confirmed that the cockroaches were fried or preserved with the noodles. No more doubts as to whether or not it got into the packaging before or after it left the factory. Payangu Yakisoba also recalled all their stock from stores, although there are still some private owners who are selling their own stock at three to seven times the original price. Well, I suppose it's worth it if you must have ramen, and you don't mind potentially getting a little bit of extra protein with your instant noodles. Bangkok Airways has formally apologized to two passengers who found a cockroach's leg on the side of one of their fruit bowls. According to Bangkok Air Catering, the cockroach likely entered the area where food was packaged. This was probably where the cockroach's leg was squished under a wrapper, before being transported onto a Bangkok Airways plane. Luckily, the passenger noticed the insect's limb before putting any food in her mouth. But the big question is, where did the rest of the cockroach go? Girl bites into McDonald's chicken wrap and tastes... frog? Like any kid, this 10-year-old girl was excited to eat at McDonald's, but after taking her first bite, it wasn't exactly a happy meal. On October 31st, Cordelia Buckley and her dad made a snack stop at McDonald's. After a long day trip in the car, 
they ordered what Cordelia probably thought would be a tasty, tender, big flavor sweet chili chicken wrap. They got their McDonald's meal and were ready to head home. Her dad driving, Cordelia dug into her bag and pulled out her food to feast. But when she bit into the hefty wrap, she immediately tasted something funny. Well, it wasn't so funny, actually, when she put down the wrap and opened it up to find a dead frog. A Halloween prank, maybe? Disgusted, Cordelia's dad says he called McDonald's to complain, but the manager simply offered a refund and asked for the frog back to investigate. A McDonald's spokesman says there's no reason to believe the frog came from their restaurant. The frog, four inches long, is now being preserved in the family's freezer. Meanwhile, poor little Cordelia has reportedly sworn off McDonald's forever. Whoever said frog tastes like chicken, anyway?